everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another one of my videos. If you didn't see, I already did one regarding the E3 publisher conferences. So if you want to hear my thoughts about Ubisoft, EA, Bethesda, and Square Enix, um, yeah, go check that out. Actually, I'll link it below to make it even easier for you guys. But I just want to say I appreciate all the comments and the likes and everybody sharing it. Uh, all the new subscribers, because I just... Uh, Got a new milestone, so thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. I'm going to talk about PlayStation first, and then I'll jump into Xbox. I did talk a little bit about PlayStation, and a little bit, tiny bit, uh, mostly Gears, on uh, Xbox Nation uh, last night, which I'm going to be a permanent member on Xbox Nation every Wednesday at 8 o'clock Eastern. So I'll link that below as well. Now let's get into my thoughts on the PlayStation conference. All right, so right off the bat, oh man, this was really hard for me to rate this conference overall because it was really bad and weird. And also they had a lot of great games, but not a lot of them interest me. So it was a little bit all over the place. And I think I'm settled with a six uh, right now. Um, so yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't know. And I'll tell you what I think so far. Uh, it started off kind of weird because of the tweets and everything that was going on around that time that they people were in the tent and they were standing up, most of them. Uh, there was no AC, supposedly. So when you hear all that kind of stuff from Twitter and you're looking at it like, what what's going on? So the place did look kind of tiny. Uh, so that was kind of odd. But I understand... Uh, I understand why they did that now. They were setting the scene. They wanted you to feel immersed in what they were going to show you. I didn't care for the musical performance, but I, I did understand, again, it pertained to the game. So it was just the atmospheric thing, whatever. It, I don't think it worked for us as we were watching as um, a stream. But maybe if you're there, uh, you may have felt a certain type of way. I, I highly doubt it because of the tweets that were going on. But anyway... Besides that hot mess, I'll jump into the first thing they showed, which they started off really strong with that Last of Us 2. And I wasn't expecting that much of um, a hype level coming out of me when I saw that because, I, like I said in my wish list, I want to see some gameplay. I want to see what they're doing with that game because I want to uh, get back into it. I've started it, never finished it. I saw my brother play a lot of it, but... um. Yeah, what I did saw was amazing. Uh, whether you think it was choreographed, whether you think it was fake or not, whatever the case may be, the graphics in that game look amazing, like mind-blowing. Um, like, just as... Actually, whatever. Just like Gears, I think they both look amazing. But yeah, it really pops and it stands out a lot. But then what really got me was that gameplay was really brutal. It was very dark. Uh... And I don't usually go for those type of games that are very gory, but damn, uh, watching her run around and um, doing everything, trying to survive, trying to hide, all that stuff made me feel anxiety as I was watching it. Like, oh my God, I was feeling for her and I, yeah, I didn't want her to survive. I wanted her to get away. I wanted her to, you know, keep going. It, it was amazing gameplay. I liked it a lot. Uh, some people saying that it reminds them of Tomb Raider, maybe Maybe that's why I liked it so much because, uh, yeah, people are comparing it. Oh, like it plays a little bit more like Tomb Raider, less like the first Last of Us. But I, I liked what I saw, so I thought that was amazing. Maybe they're just saying that because of the bow and arrow or the fact that she stopped to craft midway, uh, like a whole, you know, battle sequence, I guess. But um, while she was hiding. But either way, I really liked it. I didn't expect that that was going to be the highlight for me. So right off the bat, I'm letting you know, this is the reason why, like, I like this game because it stood out so much. And I was just going in there to check out the trailers and see what they had to show, if they have any surprises. And um, I wanted to see Spider-Man, of course, more Spider-Man, because that is, for a fact, the one I'm going to get this year. Um, so yeah. After that, though, they did completely drop after the, the the funny thing that I wanted to say yesterday, but like we're all trying to get our thoughts out there on Xbox Nation, and I kind of just forgot to say this funny thing because I had it in my head forever, which is instead of from that strong start and going into the next strong thing, and it would have been 
quote unquote hit after hit after hit. It wasn't that. It was hit, and then it was kind of like, okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna relax and we're gonna talk now. Um, we're gonna make everybody confused as to what's going on. Uh, come to find out, they were taking them out of that first location and putting them in an actual theater with AC and a giant TV and everything, 4K, whatever. So that was kind of odd. And we were just sitting there waiting for the next awesomeness. But then we were just bored. I mean, most of us were. I've heard different podcasts, different reaction videos. Me in the party with my friends. Shout out to Tim and Scromo. Um, We were just kind of like, wait, what's going on? What are we doing? Are they going to go to different rooms for every game? We were like so confused. Um, So yeah, that really slowed down the initial like great start that you know was last of us so that was really weird and then we go into another performance of uh some music and i'm like oh no what's going on right now and i did hear somebody say this and i thought this was a good idea when he started playing the flute they should have started playing the beginning of the game which is just him walking around getting on his horse like you know very it was supposed to just look very pretty before he actually gets into the combat and i'm talking about ghost of to Toshima, and yeah, he could have played the flute while that part was starting, but instead he played a whole thingy, then they started the video, so it was very slow. I didn't care for two musical performances. I just wanted to see games, 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 games. Uh, so anyway, the game Ghost of Toshima looks great, and the combat looks awesome, the sword play looks awesome, but it's not something that I would get. It would be maybe something I would watch a little bit, but not a game for me. Um, and I forgot to mention in that whole intermission, whatever, they talked about COD. I didn't care for that. The trailer for Destiny that they did show, I was very disappointed with because they basically killed Cade. So that bothered me a little bit. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Um, but at the same time, it's kind of like uh, they're trying to get me to buy this Forsaken DLC for sure now. But anyway... What else did I see? I saw Control, which for a fact I was like thinking it was Quantum Break, and and this was just me in the party. Like, what is this? This is Quantum Break. This, what the hell's going on? It looks just like Quantum Break. Anyway, come to find out when I listened to everybody's podcast after the fact, they all felt the same way. Come, yeah, I mean it is Remedy, so it's the same people. It's it has the same vibe. Obviously, it's not linked. Different character. Um, and different like stuff is happening in the world. So we'll see. I want to check that one out and see how that goes. Uh, I believe they showed like a, actually they might have showed Resident Evil and then that game in <laughs> that bath guy, the guy in the bath and it's from the dudes that make what Rick and Morty or something. That was weird. I, I didn't like that at all. That was stupid in my opinion. But anyway, uh, let me focus more on the positive stuff. Uh, Resident Evil, uh, I'm happy for everybody who's wanted that. I, I played 2 and 3 when I was younger with my brothers. I didn't finish them or anything, but those are the first times that I've ever saw Resident Evil was uh, 2 and 3. And my younger brother was so happy, so I was happy for him. Uh, we did see a different thing from Kingdom Hearts, a different, like, gameplay trailer thing so that was awesome again i'm happy for everybody who's getting that um what else i'm gonna point out yeah the next thing that's it basically spider-man so spider-man came out with a giant gameplay trailer where you're just chasing well you're fighting and you're fighting and you're chasing the bad guy wherever he goes um I thought it was it was awesome. It looked great. I like the combat in the game. I am looking forward to playing this, but at this point, I already know what Spider-Man is, so I just kind of want it now, and I don't need to see any more gameplay or hear any more interviews to know what it is and that I want it. Um, so yeah, by that time, I was just like, okay, cool, Spider-Man, awesome. And I believe... Even after the show was done, and I think they showed like another thing, uh, like a smaller, probably like a VR trailer or something. Then they went back into more Spider-Man gameplay in the daytime in the city and stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's cool. I, I have no problem with Spidey, but definitely out of everything I said, the highlight was Last of Us Part 2. That was what really stole the show for me. I could have just watched that, turned off the, the rest of the conference 
and went about my day. But anyway, I think this is already getting too long, so I'll jump into the Xbox and I'll let you guys know. And there's a lot, guys, so I try to cut it as short as I can. Alright, so for me, these guys, like, amazing conference overall, great pacing. Um, I, it was just tra game trailers after game trailers with some gameplay here and there. Uh, I believe the only slow parts were when they were talking about Game Pass and... I, I think that's about it. Maybe, you know, you could say that um, maybe when he was talking about the studios was slow a little bit as well. But I thought that that stuff was interesting. So I don't count that. And then another slow part would be when they were showing off a little bit too much of uh, Forza, even though it looks awesome. And I'm interested in playing that, especially at 60 frames. Um, but yeah, they didn't need to show that much of Forza, in my opinion. I could have checked that out after. But either way. Great show overall. I was happy with a lot of stuff. So my rating right off the bat is a 9.5. Uh, so yes, I was going to give it a little bit higher, but I was very disappointed without anybody t coming out and talking about Crackdown. As soon as they showed the new Crackdown trailer, which I thought was awesome, way better uh, like story-based trailer uh, with Terry Crews and everything. So that's very smart of them to do that. That's going to grab a lot of people's attention. Uh, I, right after I was like, somebody come out, somebody come out and talk about it. Nope. Nobody came out. So I'm already disappointed. The game got delayed. I understand why it has gotten delayed, but I was a little, you know, I was like, oh man. All right. Well, moving on to the next thing. So they, they did show a lot of great trailers, third party, first party. The first thing I want to say is Halo. I didn't know it was Halo. <laughs> Halo looks awesome, but I didn't know that was what it was uh, because they were showing so much scenery and uh, the animals and stuff like that that I was like, what the heck is this? Uh, so it took me a while to get it, but I'm happy that they're working on new Halo and it's running on a new engine, so I'm looking forward to the future on that. Uh, so that's going to take a little while. Uh, obviously, Ori looks really awesome and cute and beautiful, so that's why that was shown off. Um... The new Life is Strange game, was it Captain Spirit? I did not expect that at all, so I was expecting to see Life is Strange Season 2, and then I was like, what is this? Uh, I was super happy, but I was like, what? what is this? Uh, come to find out, it's a little kid's story. Uh, it's coming out on the 26th. It's free. I was like, sure, why not? I'll try it. It's from the same universe. It's in the same world, which I did say I would be happy with if they did that. So uh, this one will be linked to Season 2, so you have to explore the world and everything to to see what it is and i you know the, the story looks very cute and interesting uh what else stood out to me i i was very disappointed with uh the lack of battlefield gameplay or information that was shown overall in e3 but also on microsoft stage and like i said forza it looked awesome so i don't have no really complaints with that because i like the fact that they're doing the whole seasons thing in the uk because they have beautiful like um, terrain and everything like that. So I'm looking forward to playing on there. Uh, it wasn't a giant wow factor, but it was definitely uh, good things that they mentioned. It's going to be open world with everybody in the same world. So uh, you don't have to worry about drive or or AIs or anything. It's just going to be other people playing Forza in the same world as you. Like I mentioned earlier with the studios when they talked about that, I'm really interested to see what the initiative has to show in the future along with Playground. Undap, Unlap, oh my god, I can't even say it. Undead Labs. <laughs> um, they're probably going to still focus on State of Decay for a while, but who knows, maybe in the future they could do different type of games. Uh, everybody's freaking out about, what is it? Ninja Theory, so that's that's really cool. I uh, maybe they could bring back Enslaved or something else like that, or another game that they've done in the past. That would be really cool. But if they do a new IP, sure, why not? I'll ch I I just can't wait to see these uh, studios come up with great new IPs in the future to come. Um, so yeah, and uh, Compulsion is another one. I really liked um, the game that they had previous to. Uh, uh, how we happy few which by the way is taking too freaking long but yeah they showed uh shadow of the tomb raider which i'm really happy with but obviously square enix uh conference took that one because they actually showed gameplay which i loved they showed um don't make cry 5 is back so that was a really awesome trailer i didn't expect to like that at all i yeah i've played 
Devil May Cry in the past. I'm not a giant fan, but this one looks really awesome, badass and stuff. So I might check this one out when it comes out. And they, I saw them talking about it a little bit after, um, probably on the, you know, like the Mixer interview Xbox experience thing. And it sounded really cool from what I heard. Uh, the next one was Tunic. Which, I got a lot of tweets for Tunic and Gears of War, so that was really awesome. It's a little fox, the game looks like Zelda, and everybody was just telling me about it. I think it's going to be an action-adventure game, though. I don't know if it's going to be necessarily RPG, but either way, it looks really cute, and I might pick that one up. Uh, actually, I'm, I'll definitely pick that up. I gotta support my fellow foxes out there. Um, another one I didn't think I was going to like, but just because I grew up with these shows, I, I was like, oh, cool, I like that. But I don't know if I'm going to actually pick it up on day one or anything, but I want to see more, uh, which is Jump Force. The fact that they had uh, Luffy in there with Naruto, uh, Goku, and um, oh, the dude from Death Note, which, by the way, that's not my show, so I, I don't remember his name. Uh, this, uh, the fact that they were bringing all those worlds together, really cool. I did see some gameplay after that, again, on the Mixer thing, and they showed like Zoro from uh, One Piece fighting... Asasuke from Naruto, so that was really cool. So yeah, it's basically a fighting game, and it looks like very 3D, so it's not like, uh, what is it, side-scroller or anything, fighting style. So yeah, uh, looking to see, you know, how that goes and what the story is about. The next thing I thought was really interesting was pure nostalgia. So they brought back Battletoads, which is funny because this game is forever rumored, and... There was even a fake leak back where a couple of years ago, and uh, my brother's always telling me though he used to work at GameStop. People would call about <laughs> Battletoads, so I thought that was funny. And now it's actually coming out next year, but they didn't show any gameplay. It was just a teaser, and it was just to grab people with nostalgia. Uh, they did that with Halo as well, just just grabbing people and letting you know, hey, we still care about these franchises. Um, and I, I gave, I think that gave them extra points. For some people when they when they saw the conference overall but um the last thing the last couple of things well obviously not one not two but three gears of war games and you guys i mean maybe you haven't seen it so check out my like first impressions well actually i don't know if i should change the title on that because they weren't actually first impressions my first impressions were me freaking out and screaming and stuff like that but i can't put that into a video um but i guess coherent impressions uh for gears of war 5 i'm really happy about that i think it's really cute that they're doing a gears pop game because i'm so into the pop games uh no the pop figures i'm so into those that i collect them and i think they're really cute um yeah it's, it's a mobile game so whatever uh and then they're doing a tactics game which that's the one that was rumored to be and everybody was talking about and i was like no so now we know that that's over on the pc i don't have to worry about that that's cool but yeah, I'm happy that they showed three uh, Gears of War games. So it was just awesome. It was just icing on the cake already. And then uh, they ended the show with a bang because everybody, like a lot of people that I know in the community were either, you know, freaking out because they can't wait to see Cyberpunk or they were interested to see Cyberpunk like myself. Like I was just interested to see what the game was going to look like or be about. Um so yeah, it looked awesome, and the way they did it, the way they dropped it was funny. Uh, the fact that they had codes on the screen for you to grab, I thought that was really nice. Uh, so yeah, overall, I thought the show was amazing, so that's why I rated it so high, because I enjoyed a lot of the things in it, and I enjoyed a lot of the games in there as well. Even some of the games I didn't point out, I think it still looked good, and they had great presentation. Like the indie, um, like little montage. There's a lot of games in there that looked awesome that I wouldn't mind checking out. Uh, the fact that they showed the division in there, I know, I I made fun of it a little bit yesterday when I said, uh, oh, was it yesterday before? But yeah, when when they were doing the fake voice acting stuff, I didn't care for that. But I mean, yeah, they they show a lot of stuff, and they showed the new We Happy Few as well. And uh, the new trailer looks interesting, but they, they need to hurry up and take that game out. Uh, so yeah, um, they had a lot of stuff on their stage, and it's just it's just a great presentation overall. And even though PlayStation didn't have a great presentation, they still had a lot of great games, and they looked awesome on their stage. So whoever's interested in those titles, 
you know, good luck with Death Stranding. I don't know what's going on there, but I'm not interested in that. But I know a lot of people are interested and intrigued, and they think the game looked really good. So, either way, uh, there goes my thoughts on Xbox and PlayStation. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, not about, like, who won or anything like that, or who was better, but just the games. What games? Oh, no, actually, how about let me know which conference you thought was better uh presentation wise and then tell me some of the games for either or that you're interested in seeing um thank you guys for watching i appreciate all the support and i'll see you on the next one